Hi everyone, welcome to Aerotops, where we receive feedback from hoteliers on the challenges that they face and we discuss and provide solutions to their problems. So today we've got another special guest. Uh, her name is uh, Jessica Lee. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. Um, so nervous because it's my first time, um, but at the same time, I'm very, very excited. I don't think you're nervous. You don't look nervous. Really? Yeah. I'm good in hiding that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here today. Thanks. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. And I know today is a bit more special because it's the Chinese New Year period. So can we wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year? Happy, happy Chinese, Chinese New Year! Gong Hei Fa Chai! Gong Si Fa Chai! Okay, so... So maybe you want to tell us a bit more about yourself and your background? Um, okay, for me, all the while in um, service industry, mm. um, begin with uh, hospital... Eh, no, sorry, it's aviation industry. And then um, I ending... Not really ending, but now I'm in hospitality industry. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So what do you do in aviation? You fix aeroplanes or you fly aeroplanes or...? I fly like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> she fly. I'm asking what you do. No, you fly like a bird or not? <laughs> what yeah, kind of answer is that? Okay. <laughs> uh, I was um, a stewardess, or we call it a cabin crew, and some call air hostess. So yeah. Okay. So do you like it? You enjoy it? Love it. Love it, right? Love service industry. Yeah. yeah. You travel all around the world and all that. Um, not the whole world, but yeah. Most of it, lah. Yeah, most of it. But three quarter of the world is being a dealer. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So I guess today uh, Jessica is going to help read some uh, feedback. Thank you so much for those of you who have sent in your challenges. Um, and I think Jessica will sort of share them out. Yeah. yeah. Before I start, I mm. think I should teach you how to that because uh, I <laughs> I receive a request uh. from uh, someone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do that? Okay. How, how do I do that? Uh, you just, uh, instead of uh, looking at the camera, you should look down. While oh. you're doing it. Okay. okay, one, two, three. No, <laughs> with the hand. Right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay, let's start with um, the questions that okay. we got. Okay. Um, because, you know, in this current situation, MCO extended yeah. and all that, oh, it's it's really frustrating sometimes to the yeah. owners, to the, to the team members, you right. know. Yeah, so that we receive a few concerns actually mm. Mm. like uh, they worry of possible retrenchment because okay. of MCO okay. Okay? okay and then we also have lack of guests checking into the hotel mm. then causes huge losses to the owners and the hoteliers mm. Mm. Uh, mm. is there any possible way to overcome this? I guess <laughs> if you're retrenched right um, I, I, I think we the most important thing is to be prepared because if you're not prepared for something then you're caught off guard yeah. right so you just have to be prepared if in the event you're retrenched uh, what is your plan B right you need to have a plan B come to join Arrowwood <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I, and I guess if hotels close down it is definitely expected because um, the, the business has actually gone down so um, but having said that uh, if you're retrenched or the hotel closes down and you need a job I think there are three areas to look at one, you can actually try um, delivery uh, companies, uh, food delivery. I think they're doing okay right now. Uh, a lot of restaurants are engaging people to sort of deliver food. Two, you can actually go for, um, not sure whether you guys know this, but property management. Those who actually uh, manage properties, right, like residential properties. I hear they are also hiring. So that can be another source of income. And the third option is to actually join uh, MLM, multi-level marketing. I know some of you may feel that MLM is like, MLM, are you MLM? Ah, no. But I think MLM gives you an opportunity to actually run business without having to invest a lot of capital, right? Um, and you have the stocks already, you, you recommend someone, you sell a product, you know? But these can be temporary measures so that you can have a little bit of income for the time being. Mm. Yeah, so I think that, that, that will be a better idea, yeah. That's not bad. At least you know you have mm. some income, like yeah. to cover it up, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So next we have. Oh, next. Okay. <laughs> there are quite a lot of numbers of feedbacks that we receive concerning the wages, oh, money okay. that everyone concerned about, right? Okay. So okay. the questions is always have problem with the punctuality payment. <laughs> okay. okay. Instead of twenty eight. 
sometimes on the seven of the following month, right? Okay, okay. So the management should be more concerned and alert on this matter. Hmm. I think uh, that's we hear that quite often right now, right? <laughs> Um, but I think because hotels are facing cash flow problems, yeah. so I think it's not really the management's fault or the owner's fault. It's actually the pandemic that caused this, right? <sighs> so I, I think it, th- this, this is a good time for us to give and take, um, allow the company to manage the finances. And I think in due time, um, probably they'll pay you on time. Because I'm very sure this is something that it's not just happening for the first time. I mean, it's not going to be... If your company has paid you all the while salary late, I think it's time to resign from the company, right? <laughs> but if it's only because of this pandemic, right, then I guess, you know, there has to be a give and take from this point, mm. right? Isn't it? True. Yeah. But some say, like, deduction of salary due to mm. COVID-19, mm. you know, this MCO, mm. and again, MCO. Yeah, you know? but well, what, what can we do, right? I think the, the pandemic has caused hotels to actually lose a lot of revenue. Hotels have actually... You know, there are some hotels that are only 3% occupancy. Can you imagine? And if in the past you've been earning, like, let's say, 100000 every month, and then suddenly you only earn a few thousand, you can't survive. You can't pay, you know, uh, all these expenses. Can, you can't afford it anymore. So maybe, um, you know, I, I guess it's just to be open with the owners and just to explain. Uh, but allow your owners and management and hotels some time to actually arrange for that. But if it persists, mm-hmm. if it continues, right, then you jump to uh, do food delivery. What's a plan B? Right? Yeah. Look for a plan B. How about plan C? Yeah, or plan C <laughs> or plan D, you know. Yeah. If, if, for example, if let's say you, you, you marry someone and then you don't like the person, just, just divorce and move to the next one, you know. <laughs> really? I can do that? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for your input. <laughs> Let's move to another questions, uh, another concerns that mm. we received. This is very serious. Yeah. Oh, this is okay. very very serious. <clears throat> That's history. But at the same mm. times, is um, it happens. I I would think like quite often. I would say. Um, okay, the it this happened to one of the experienced uh, hotel F and B head cashier and the service crew. Okay, she said she said yeah, I was always verbally abused and got physical abuse by the customers <laughs> twice. How to physically abuse the person? I think just push or hit lah. Oh. Okay, I think yeah. One time I went to serve for room service and the guest asked. If I could mm-mm, with what them, is mm-mm? like sleep with them, wow. okay. Since it's called a room service, okay. They also <laughs> flash me <gasps> so much. Oh my god! How do you know the flash is so much? I don't know. This then, then he just flash so much. It's, it's from them. <laughs> it's from them. I'm I'm not sure, but I, I guess it's the whole body. That's why it says so much. Huh? Okay. My boss tends to be on the customer side. Oh. Uh, well, you know, customers are always right. You know. What do you think? I, I think I think first of all, if you're actually abused by your immediate superior, you should either report this to HR or just leave the organization because nobody should endure that kind of abuse. Um, whether is it physical or uh, verbal, I think um, that shouldn't happen in an organization. Um, Sorry, verbal means like uh, what kind of verbal? Like what you always did? No. No. Okay, we move on to the next one. <laughs> and the, the second one is actually when a guest asks um, you to actually sleep with this person. Right? I think it's very serious. And I think the first thing to do is actually um, manage it well, politely decline. Obviously, you can't be rude. Yeah. Uh, but politely decline and move out of the room immediately, right? And report this to your immediate superior so your superior can realign your sh- uh, change your shift. And this, um, after this, uh, your superior would obviously inform HR uh, where the management will decide whether to ask the guest to leave or they will actually um, ask you or the, the person that is impacted with this to, to sort of take leave for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, it depends on the hotel's mani- uh, decision, you know, yeah. because some hotels, they will just ask the guest to have a nice day and move out, you know. But some hotels, they are just okay with it in the sense that they will sort of manage it tactfully so that they won't say anything. They'll just change the staff and just let it go. You know, this 
actually not only happen to like between customers mm. and the crew mm. and sometimes it happens to the superior as well you know in the team same team members that happened to one of my friends mm -hmm. yeah so i guess you know it's very hard as a malaysian we all we are always uh, very humble and very um conservative like mm. we, we always like keep things to ourselves you know are you, are you conservative uh, I'm not that actually. Uh, <laughs> but I'm Malaysian. You're very open, eh? <laughs> not not really open, but yeah. Oh, no, I, I always are. Are you open or conservative? Uh, half in. <laughs> so okay. Yeah, mm. and she also expressed that her frustration by saying that this industry is facing a lot of dramas. Okay, mm. but we can voice out because we can't voice out because no one is supporting us. Some of us will always have the weak will be the victim and no one is willing to help us out mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's why i say you know you have to you know voice out if mm -hmm. things happen to you like this you know uh, yeah uh, but i i think there's just two two ways to do this right one is either you um explain to your immediate superior the frustration or second you actually um leave the organization because there's no company there's no organization there's no hotel which is free of drama everywhere you go right um, i think based on experience i think you can also say right yeah there's I always agree. drama everywhere right True. so whether a little bit of drama or a lot of drama so if you find that it doesn't work for you you either learn to adapt or you just resign okay i guess uh that's all that we have right jessica yeah you, any more questions no um well of course we have more but we can keep it for the next one right <laughs> so Thank you so much for those of you who are sending your questions. Uh, we hope that um, you, you do continue sending those um, over to us. And you can actually email your questions to hello at arrowwood.com.my. Um, don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And, and YouTube. Last, yeah, last but not least, just smash the subscribe button on YouTube. And um, I guess we're going to wish you again a uh, happy Chinese New Year. Gong si fa chai. Gong si fa chai. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.